Well, there we go. Now an 85 for Conor Shanahan. We move it along to your current defending champion and your current points leader. Peter Vincek now sits on the line, slots the car into gear, gives a thumbs up to the start line, Marshall. You'll be knowing, Dave, on the radio from the spotters, there's some big scores out there, and he needs to try and claw some of these qualifying points. What can Peter Vincek do as he fires in right to the edge of the circuit? He's going to go for it. He's going to try and match what... Jack Shanahan just done. I was holding my breath for a second there, thinking he was going off circuit. Wow, look at this from Vincek, right to the edge of the circuit. He didn't even lift off the throw. Could this be your 100 point run? This is unbelievable from Vincek at the moment. Slows the car down the handbrake, back on the throw again, to the wall, across the line. Textbook. Well, 99 was 92. You know okay. what? I'm going to be honest with you, not as deep into the zones as Jack Shannon for me. I had never drifted here before. Until this morning. This morning was the... 10 a.m. 10 a.m. tomorrow was the first... Uh, oh, here he is now. <laughs> here he is now. Well... The man that could spoil the whole Irish party by coming in and going, sorry, uh, I'll just take that 100 run if you don't mind, please. My name's Peter Vjordan. I'm kind of beating everyone here for the... Only. This morning was the... 10 a.m. 10 a.m. tomorrow was the first... Uh, oh, here he is now. Here he is now. <laughs> Well, the man that could spoil the whole Irish party by coming in and going, sorry, uh, I'll just take that 100 run if you don't mind, please. My name's Peter Vjordsek. I'm kind of beating everyone here for the last two years. I'd like to do it again. I mean, if he, if he, if he puts this statement down now, Dave, I, I don't know what we're going to be left with tomorrow. You won't want to miss it, that's for sure. Through the gate, down through the gears comes Peter Vincek. Oh, wow, and he's asking the question already right to the edge of the circuit. Full throw, dabbing the foot brake. Oh, and he's absolutely perfect on that inner zone, perfect on the outer zone. He comes down the hill. Is he even going to touch the brake? He doesn't even use the foot brake. He throws on the angle. He transitions. He hasn't touched the brake once yet. He transitions back once again. Oh, and two tiny dabs as Vincek goes for the widest line possible on the wall. Can you get better than these drivers? What are we watching right now? Did, I just, did I just watch a man drop? He's drifting the whole he back is circuit as well. Drifting the whole circuit. Uh, Here we now. go. It's a 95. Oh, it's a 95. 95. Into third place he goes. Wow. Tree, you're going to be very, very excited for what's to come. But we don't know who is in no. the top 16 just yet. And one man that will hope to be in that top 16 is our current and reigning champion, Peter Vjainsek. He leads the championship right now, and he has not put too many feet wrong in the last year and a half. He is really in the zone at the peak of his powers. But... He has to go out to a track that is drying. I think it's a little easier here to Vyansek than the first couple of battles, but Norbert Zamich from Hungary. Well, I'm going to take you back to 2019 to Poland where he took down Jack Shannon in the top 32. He has got that ace up his sleeve if he needs to push a little harder. He's got to go for it here with Vyansek, and he is on the entry. Yeah, look at Vyansek though, absolutely dialed as he puts power down and starts to drive away, but Norbert Zamich finds the power and the grip. Now finds the back of that S15. Norbert Zamich, oh, flying with danger as he looks to take down Vincek. He goes a little bit too hot. Loses some ground. Vincek now starts to pull away once again. Norbert Zamich lost a whole bunch of ground down there on that inside zone. Vincek into that outside zone, up onto the wall. Zamich just hunts him down. Well, you know what? If you're going that fast, it is scary. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree 100%. But what happens when we get further on in competition and the guys start to pick the pace up and the grip and everyone starts to get their confidence? Will they then hang with the pace? Jack Shanahan has that pace. Well, for sure, a lot of guys do. But here's another thing. Vyansek now has to go chase the Norbert Zamacher because the job isn't done. He's got an advantage from the first run. Vyansek has to be clever here and stay with Zamich. And Zamich has got pace too. And look at this from Zamich flying through that first corner. Has Peter Vyansek losing a bit of ground there. Oh. Straightening in the chase position, Peter Vyansek. As they come down, Vyansek having to make some moves. There's some errors from Peter Vyansek as Zamich now starts to drive away a big run from Norbert Zamich here as Peter Vyansek not looking as impressive here in the chase a big dive though from Vyansek just about pulls it off amazing move from Vyansek to get in and across the line on the back bumper you have no idea but you guys are along for the ride which is the best part of the Drift Masters European Championship you never know which way it's going to go and Peter Vyansek explaining he's had some issues but I think he's probably done enough here yeah he has indeed it is Peter Vyansek going through to the top 16 for a scratch it and say it's damaged now you don't have to worry. Now True. he's crashed it. He's like, well, it's always repairable. Well, we move on to a big battle. We built it up in the pre-show because Felix Lindvall gets a second roll of the dice against Peter Vyansek here in the top 16. And not only will Felix Lindvall have his sights very much set on Vyansek, so will all the other competitors in 
the grid because Vjainsek, he's a tough man to take down. He has been incredibly fast. He's been incredibly aggressive. He has put too many feet wrong. For the last almost year and a half in this championship, Lin Valdo on the other hand turns on the nitrous and said, I'm sending it to the door of that S15 when we go into that first corner. Look at Lin Val, ready to go here. Vjainsek in the lead, championship. Very much the points on the line here as Vjainsek throws in. Lin Val not having the pace so far. No, Lin Val left a little bit line there as a Bit of Vincek fires down, looks hungry for it as Vincek starts to pull some car lips on Felix Linval. Linval already had one roll of the dice with Peter Vincek. Absolutely dominating it. I mean, uh, Felix Linval, look, look this, again, it's going to come down to lead to lead, chase to chase. Linval needs to put down an incredible lead because his chase wasn't that clean. He made a whole host of errors himself. Linval almost had Vincek on the ropes in Austria. We all said he was right in the mix. This time, the, the balance is swinging in Vincek's, uh, you know, favour. But now Vincek has to go to a place where he doesn't like to go. And that's slowing that car down because he knows it doesn't react the way he wants it to react. I also mean by saying the slower car, Lidwell still has one of the fastest cars oh, on the grid. Yeah. I mean, he's still doing 80 mile an hour plus through the track. But the way Vincek's driving, he has to adapt that now. He can't just go full throttle everywhere. So let's see how this plays out. Very interesting circumstances here. The top 16 as Vincek throws in with a lot of pace behind Lidwell. He's got to slow it up a little bit. Linval fires through that first corner. Vjainsek right with him. Now watch this transition. How does Vjainsek react? He reacts very well in the chase position. Linval goes right to the edge of the circuit. Full throttle from Linval here as he's absolutely tearing through. Vjainsek doing a phenomenal job in the chase position of adapting. Now watch this dive from Vjainsek. Absolutely picture perfect from Peter Vjainsek as he runs that S15 up onto the door of Felix Linval. That looks to me like another good run for Peter Vjainsek. Let's see which way the judges go. We've given our opinions here in the tower, but our opinions count for very little in the grand scheme of things because we don't make the average uh, scores come in. Let's see what happens. It's going to slide them all left for Peter Vjainsek. The Polish driver goes through to the top eight. You can see what it means to him. That championship still very much in his hands right now. He's making all the decisions. Kevin O'Connell, we go back to the start line. Kavia taking about an... 45 feet run in here behind Peter <laughs> Vjainsek. What is he planning here? Vjainsek in the lead position. Kavia in the chase is the final top four space up for grabs. And Kavia knows the pace of Vjainsek going into that first corner. So Kavia is going to take off like a rocket here. Well, this is for the redemption. These two guys battled it out in Austria. Kavia having mechanical failure, didn't get the job done. Now Kavia looking for that turn of fate, looking for that redemption. He knows what... Vincek's got, has he got what he needs? Here we go, Kavia fires in behind, oh, early initiation, very early from Kavia, got it wrong, and he's got to recover from that as they come through that first section. Kavia's lost a lot of ground here already. He's got to dive through the course, he is diving through the course at full speed. Vjainsek so fast through here, no decel from Vjainsek, but Kavia's right back up with him now as they head towards the last section. He's got to come through that smoke like an arrow, and he does. Can he get up onto the door? Just about gets close to Vjainsek through the last corner, stays in the fight for Vjainsek, looking super strong out front. And we're about to see 50% of this one come off the line now as Kavia goes into the lead position. The pride of Nor Norway against the pride of Poland in Peter Vjainsek. Vjainsek climbing closer and closer to the podium once again. But Kavia would like to upset the party as he heads into the lead position. Here we go. Vjainsek to chase in Kavia up to 70 miles an hour. And you can tell Vjainsek very hungry to get on the door. He certainly is. Look at this as he comes through, down through the gears. And this time Kavia, no mistakes on initiation, gets it absolutely pinpoint perfect. Dials on the smoke, and you can see Vincek in the background all over the back bumper and side of that S13. They come down, and Kavia now plays the same game with Peter Vincek. Says, We don't need brakes, we're just going to go full speed as Vincek gets close up on the door. Oh, Vincek makes a huge mistake and takes Kavia off track. I did I just see what it, what happened? Did Vincek just come through the smoke and hit Kavia? This I am is a bomb lost show. for words. Uh, just when I was about to jump across you, Ian, and say, job done, Peter Vjainsek. Kavia's in the gravel. Vjainsek is coming over to see if he's okay. Did Vjainsek dive through the smoke and take out Kavia? Is that what's happened? I, I think he had that battle oh, in the bag. Oh, he had it done. It was done. It was, it was done. And well, I'll, the I'll, results are coming in. Is it going to be official from the judges? And it is. Tor Arne Kavia eliminates the current and reigning champion, Peter Vjainsek.